this is Joe at Joe's Test Studio. Establish those in. Now, with some few darks here, and then I'll have to uh, dry it. And um, <clears throat> right there, and right here, and looking at my, I have something here, a dark there. Let's put a dark there. Just wherever you think you need these darks. But don't overdo it. Okay, you want to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, there's that. Now, I will get rid of that under the page there because if I do not pick that up, it's going to siphon back and make a blossom on the front here. Okay, I will have to dry this real quick and then I need to put in, there's two trees here and here and then I'll put my light source in and the painting is completed. Next, we will, after we have dried this, uh, what I'm going to do, well, the reason I had to dry it, is that we're going to apply a glaze over these areas to create a light source. Once we create a light source, the painting is finished, in my estimation. You might have to come back in and do a little bit of areas of, of uh, correction or something. But basically, what I want to do next is come over here and I have a couple trees that I need to put in. Uh, this was, uh, I was in, uh, in York at Christmas, so the, all the trees have lost their, their leaves. And so what we'll do is we'll just come in here, just put a few in there. We don't want to overdo it here. Let's just give an indication that it's a tree without its leaves on. The more you do here, the more you're going to distract from everything else. So let's just put an impression there. Next, well, there's one more right over here. So like this. This tree looks old, looks tired. OK, here we go. Now, what we'll do here is we'll put a light source in. My light source will be coming from my left, your right. So what I'll do is I'll just mix a little blue and a little red. And what we will do here is start applying our light source. Okay. Now, once again, the light's going to be coming this way. So we'll apply a shadow there. Like that. Now, there'd be a little shadow here. There would be a shadow under this area here. Remember I told you I was a little concerned about this area? But I think now that I see it the way it is now, I think it'll be just fine. There's a, and always on the windows here, there's always a shadow. Your windows are recessed, so there'll be a shadow on them. And also, too, on the front, there's always a window sill that will throw a shadow, too. Now, this mixture I'm putting on will dry transparent. I use transparent paint, so I do not have any white of the white paint, so I have to use the white of the paper. And in order to get that, <clears throat> you have to have some some initial thought put in on this. Um, I know most people do not like to draw; they like the enthusiasm of getting right in and painting. But if you spend a little more time thinking about what your final product is going to be, you'll have a lot less aggravation. Okay, now this building here, we'll be throwing a huge shadow over here on this, and I'll go down to there, and then what happens, we'll pick it up again with our shadows. There's a lot of repetition in shadows, okay? If I have the shadow on this side here, we'll by all means put it on here and here. And we'll do the same thing here on the windows. Now, we'll come down to the cars down here. Oh, this side of this building is in shadow here like that. And then coming up like that, okay? Now, we're going to correct this area right here. Okay, there would be a shadow under here, under your shop there. Now, the side, the backs of these cars would be in shadow right here. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to bring a shadow from off the page here 
to nullify this corner here, to kind of push it back. What we're doing is we're pushing, we're editing here on our shadows, okay? We're pushing things back and bringing things forward, okay? Now, I want to bring a shadow off the side here that looks like there's something out of the composition. We don't know what it is, but it is throwing a shadow across the page like that, okay? So in essence, what we've done is we have redirected the viewer's eye to right here and taken care of the white of the paper in areas that we do not want the viewer to look. Okay, coming over here like that. I'll go there. Now, each one of your figures will have a shadow on it. Right here. Okay, same with this here. Put them in very quickly, and over there, and over there. And let's see, there'd be a shadow right here, and there'd be a shadow there, here. And I think we pretty much have taken care of what we're going to do here with this. We need a couple little extras here, and then we'll call it good. There's always vents, and there's always um, stuff sticking up on roofs. If you want everything to work right, you got to vent it, your, your heater. Okay, let's put a little one here, on there. And then what it does is it gives a very, very nice little effect to it. It's not much of an effect, but it adds to the overall. There we go, we'll put a little there, that there. Uh, one, of the, one of the last things that uh, uh, an artist should do is to sign your work. It becomes a piece of it becomes a piece of paint, so it becomes a design factor. So looking here, where to do the most good? I'll put it right across that figure there. Okay. Uh, one thing that you have a little leeway here is you don't even have to spell your name correctly. Nobody will know but you. Okay, like that. If you have any signature statuses, by all means, put them on. Now we have some cadmium red here on the brush. Then I can just start throwing it in here. I can maybe do a little more on, on this person's hat here. I could do put red britches on that person. I could put um, maybe there, like that, and also too. And then always, always there are birds. So I'll just put a few birds up here. They add a little bit of something to the process. Okay, there, thank you very much.